I wish I knew. Welcome back to My Husband is My Best Friend. Shani speaks on how she deals with people constantly criticizing her decisions. Wait, let me clean my little camera, y'all. This is so good. I'm so sorry. Sorry. Okay. Hey. Hey. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. I, um, I struggled this morning. This is way off subject, y'all. So, hey, everybody. Um, Have you ever... See, here we go with another the doctor question this is what i do because she's my sister y'all so just hold on tight real quick i tried this new multivitamin right i took it last night it made me so nauseous like all night and this morning i got to the office i literally laid on the couch for the first two hours so oh. got my life together but i don't know what i i don't know i'm usually not that sensitive to multivitamins but hey yeah and you know nowadays they put so many different things in vitamins so your body probably was not used to the chemistry that was in it probably need more water today mm. water okay but okay. your body was like uh-uh whatever is in here i'm not feeling it i don't Some like it yeah you don't like it so if you if you give yourself a couple days and it don't go away then it's not the one for you okay that, i don't <laughs> think i'm gonna try it again so you ain't gotta worry about me i was like i do not want that feeling we'll go back to oh my world. gosh i just want to tell you you are hilarious because the way that you came rolling in into this live <laughs> I thought I was going said. to get. I thought I was going to get my lip gloss and put it on. And you, I heard you say, "Oh, Shani, I see you. Let me." Out. I was like, "Ooh, <laughs> lip gloss in hand." So, so much. Oh my that. gosh! Yay! So we're so excited to have you on. I have your book, Undefeated, right uh, here. You thank you, so sis. So pretty. Yes. You, and so um, we're just gonna dive right in because we don't want to hold you long. We know you have stuff to do. But I want to thank you for the opportunity. Obviously, you have just been such a blessing to my life, even watching you from afar and watching you blossom. Um, and to the beautiful woman that you are, it has just been amazing to see your growth. And I know you are shy. Like, people don't think that, but you are shy. I am. And I don't like talking in front of people at all. Like Yes, and you have just come out of your shell so much and seeing you on stage and just talking and blossoming. It has just been so beautiful to watch. And so for anybody that's on the call, like you could do that too. Um, but you've just been such an inspiration in so many ways. So thank you for just taking me under your wing and um, just being a real one because that's not um, – real popular these days it's really not but I always you know it's so much easier to be your true self than it is to like act like something else right and sometimes you know i like i am shy in a way of like not liking to speak in front of people and and i think it's more of like just an insecurity of this space for me and and not i think i've shared i've shared this with you just not knowing if i'm having the correct words for this audience right? right or how how the delivery of what i have to say is accepted because because my words aren't going to be as proper or right. and not 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 in a pronouncing type way but in a delivery type way right maybe i don't have that bible scripture to throw in there with what i'm trying to say and this right. audience is be very, sure to like share and subscribe oh gosh i mean just it's just Fun. structured and 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 conservative and unforgiving in a, in a lot of ways so it's my own insecurity and a lot of times in my head i'm like girl why do you care but you know i have a whole husband it's a whole church that i represent so i gotta care right um but yeah so i i think it's easier to shut up right, right. <laughs> you know it's just easier to be quiet and and save myself from any ridicule or mistakes even though we all make them i'd just right. rather be safe than sorry which is you know not the best solution but but that's what I, i'm just trying to figure that space out right well i think you're you're doing an amazing job. So if everybody would mind the business that pays them, Listen. then everybody would be okay. But we focus Listen. on others so much. It's like, if I focus on myself, imagine putting that energy into me and not somebody else. But okay. So, right? So we'll, we'll move on to um, the questions and just talking about Undefeated because we're having a discussion about your new book. And so I just want to ask you, as you share with everybody else, 
what inspired you to write this new book and how does it, the title really reflect like your life journey? Um, well, it was a process. I started writing a book probably about five years ago and I just kept getting scared, you know, scared to tell my truth. Um, I think I was given a lot of fluff, like, oh, everything's fine. It's all fine. It's all fine. You know, um, here was a little rough patch, but it's fine. So it was, it took versions of me, like as I got older and wiser and more experienced in certain areas that it just was the version that I was in when I first started the book was not who I, who I was when I said, you know what, let me sit down and really just talk about things that I've been through. Now, what I did fear even when writing this book was me share my story includes other people. And I just was so reluctant to tell stories that had to do with anybody else. But, uh, you know, all of our lives have to do with other people, our parents, our siblings, et cetera, et cetera. I was like, well, it's not fair that I have to tell their story to tell my story. Right. But in some instances, it just, you know, it, it's, it is what it is. I know my mother was not thrilled with everything that I had to say in this book, but that's my story. And I, you know, she's my mother. Right. So what happened with that was, that's my father. This is my experience. So that was a fear for me, but I just said, you know, I, I, I know that what I experienced and what I've been through could help somebody. Right. Women, women, men, whatever. It could absolutely help somebody maybe not lose themselves the way I did in the midst of, of this process, you know? Right. Absolutely. And I think you are doing just that. And I was reading some of the book and I was I just love how free you were when you were politely telling people um, <laughs> to go to hell. <laughs> Because there are days, sis, there are days when it's just like, woo. Yeah. Um, and I, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah just, I mean, I think we're all a work in progress, right? I was having lunch with a friend of mine yesterday, and she said, you know, it's not many things that make me act a fool, but there are a few. And I said, I think we all have that, especially as, as mothers. I will act a fool about my kids. Like, first lady who? You know, when you mess right. with my kids or my husband, I will probably act up, you know, right. and I think we all have that's human nature. <laughs> we turn yeah. into mama bear for certain things. And but you want, you know, that doesn't negate the goal of me trying to be a better person. Me trying to, you know, just on the journey that we're on, we will have those moments that kind of make us detour to the left or right. right. But the fact that we're aware and like, you know what? Okay, I let myself go right down that rabbit hole that I'm trying to not go down, but I made a mistake. Let me get back on track. So we're human. Exactly. And you know, like you said, those people that want to be all in your business and have judgment, what you do at home, right? What do, what are you doing that we don't see that you want to right. ridicule me for? Cause you just happen to see mine. Right. But it's one, of, it is what it is. It's like, right. we, it we don't have them days exactly. and yeah, and we do know that Peter carried a knife and a Bible. Okay? Hello. And he's still a disciple. So Hello. <laughs> let's be clear for all the Bible scholars. <laughs> right. <laughs>